वेलकम टू रेडियो नशा सर थैंक यू आज हम जुड़े हैं ऑफकोर्स गुप्त के 25 सालों के लिए मतलब ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स आपको लगता है कि 25 साल हुए हैं कि अब एहसास हो रहा है क्योंकि मैं बोल रही हूँ इतनी बार आपको नहीं मुझे एक्चुअली लगता नहीं मुझे लगता जैसे है जैसे कल है ना फिल्म की है आइडिया ऑफ हैविंग अ फीमेल प्रोटैगनिस्ट टू बी अ किलर मेरे हिसाब से हुआ है उससे पहले भी लेकिन आई थिंक इट शॉक पीपल उस टाइम पर है ना फिल्म विल शॉक यू अगर आप उस फिल्म जब देख रहे हैं आप एक्सपेक्ट नहीं करते जो आने वाला है अगर लोग गेस कर लेते इट वॉन्ट शॉक यू सो द होल आइडिया ऑफ राइटिंग अ गुड स्क्रीन प्ले इज टू जस्टिफाई द सब्जेक्ट एंड वेन द सब्जेक्ट इज सस्पेंस वी हैव टू थिंक वेरी हार्ड अबाउट हाउ यू गोइंग टू राइट इट हाउ यू गोइंग ट्रीट इट हाउ यू गोइंग गो अबाउट इट सो आई आई ऑब्वियसली डन अ लॉट ऑफ होमवर्क ऑन दिस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम पीपल अराउंड मी जो थे वो स्केप्टिकल थे काफ़ी लोग हैं दे मैं ट्वेल्व कि अगर आप सस्पेंस पिक्चर बनाते हो तो उस पर रिपीट वैल्यू नहीं होती या लोग बोल देते हैं किलर कौन है तो देखेंगे नहीं और अगर रिपीट में फिल्म नहीं देखते थे उन दिनों में तो वो इतनी चलती नहीं थी बिजनेस नहीं होता था सो दे वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ रिजर्वेशन आई जस्ट क्लोज दैट डॉर मैं बना रहा हूँ और मैं कोशिश करूँगा अच्छी पिक्चर बनाने की मुझे खुद सस्पेंस अच्छा लगता है तो गुप्त जब मैंने बनाई और सोचा मुझे लगा मुझे ये फिल्म देखनी है अगर किसी और की हो तो बिल्कुल तो इसको मैं बना देता हूँ क्योंकि ये अगर मैं देखूँ तो मुझे बहुत पसंद आई मैं बॉबी से इंटरव्यू करते वक्त मैंने यही कहा था कि आंट यू ग्लैड कि उस टाइम ना व्हाट्सएप था ना सोशल मीडिया था बिकॉज आज के जमाने में आई डोंट नो हाउ इट बी यू नो पॉसिबल टू एवर कीप सच अ बिग सस्पेंस बर एट दिस नहीं ऐसी बात नहीं है क्योंकि अभी जो मैं फिल्म लिखी है मैंने जो मैं बनाने वाला हूँ वो इससे ज्यादा सस्पेंस Okay, मुझे हाँ, मुझे This पता is very है news. But you are making a film right now. अभी तक मैंने अनाउंस नहीं किया है क्योंकि मुझे बहुत साल हो गए रिटायरमेंट के हाँ. तो oh मैं गुप्त से एकदम अलग है hmm. एकदम hmm. लेकिन ये जो आप कह रहे हैं कि जो अगर लोग बोल देंगे कि इसने मर्डर किया है या इसने क्राइम किया है या ये इस सस्पेंस के पीछे है ये उससे भी भयंकर है सब्जेक्ट आपको बिगनिंग में ही लोगों को ग्रिप, ग्रिप कर लेना चाहिए शुरू में ही अगर वो ऑडियंस को पकड़ लेती है कोई फर्क पड़ने वाला नहीं एक्चुअली दैट्स मैं उन लोगों में से थी वन वन ऑफ फ्यू पीपल जिनको बताया गया था कि काजोल Which brings I, me I still don't like talking about Kajol <laughs> being <laughs> the person she was, <laughs> you know, in the film. So, जब कोई suspense आज भी खोलता है तो मैं उसको बोलता हूँ please ऐसे बात करना. You know, it's funny because Bobby just जब जब मैं बात कर रही थी और मैंने कहा Gup में killer कौन है? We did a rapid fire. Yeah. And he said, ये तो आपको film देख के ही पता चलेगा. Yeah. I was shocked. I said, Bobby, 25 years later, you're still promoting the film. <laughs> he said, ये तो मजा है इस yeah. film का कि film लोगों को देखनी है. I'm curious to know though, how did you convince Kajol? Because उस दौर में, okay, this is 97, right? She'd come off the success of DDLJ. Okay, yeah. she was one of the biggest stars of the country when it comes to a heroine. Here you were, Rajiv Rai. You have to convince the the biggest star of the country at that point. You are kind of a negative. <laughs> to role. to be the killer. How did you get it? Is it your charm? See, mene, Is it your story? Ha, the screenplay tha. Or <laughs> mene, screenplay tha. I think she she was the first girl I approached yeah. or the lady, uh, and I didn't know if it would happen or not. But she was one of the best actresses of that time and still, still is. is. So. I, मेरे पास इतनी चॉइसिस थी नहीं एंड आई न्यू द फैमिली द फादर वेरी वेल द मदर सो इट वॉज ईजी टू अप्रोच हर एंड शी वॉज शी हर्ड इट विद अ वेरी ओपन माइंड एंड शी इज़ वेरी रिसेप्टिव तो वो मुझे ज़्यादा समय नहीं लगा उनकी बहन भी साथ बैठी हुई थी तो जब मैंने स्टोरी ख़त्म की उसने कहा देर इज़ नो वे ये मैं नहीं करूँगी <laughs> wow, so, wow. वो तो पहले मतलब दो घंटे में हो गया एंड आई एम वेरी एक्चुअली इंडेटेड एंड ग्रेटफुल टू हर बिकॉज शायद मैं बनाता ही नहीं अगर मेरे को सही एक्ट्रेस नहीं मिलती नहीं मिलती हाँ 
But you were the golden boy of the 90s. Let what me tell that, you that. What does that mean? I, I don't mean, know. you gave us some of the best, most entertaining films. You oh. set the template for the 90s. I don't, I don't know about that. You did. I you just did. did what I had to do. And we had a blast. <laughs> we had so much fun because, okay, first of all, let's just go back to the rishta with music. Because I feel that in Riju Shah, you found like your BFF, which we call yeah. best friend forever. And that partnership started off with Tridev. You know, where he was credited as the conductor, but the truth is that the two of you were actually making that music. What happens when you are doing your work, you think that everything is going to fail. So if we have done our songs, then you understand that it's gone, it's gone. Thank God people like it. Yeah. Hai. Of course, you do the song again like a film that you enjoy listening to. Yeah. I mean, if I do any song, good, bad or ugly, if I don't enjoy it, I will not record it or keep it in the film. Earlier, there were situations where you would create a situation in which your song was going on. Yes, yes. And I think that somewhere else, the song is going to stop the story. So you are lucky if the song is not going to stop the story. Or you should write songs that are saying the story, or you are going to take the film forward, or it is pure entertainment. So the film is not going to stop at that time. What a so, great observation because I remember whether you take a song like Gajar Ne Kiya Hai Ishara yeah. or the climax song of Gup which is Pyasi Mohabbat Pyasi Jawani actually you're telling the story through those lyrics through that situation yes. through the picturization But at that time there was no choice because you know that you had to put 6 songs in the first interval and after 3 songs and in every song you had to say that if you don't say a story you don't say a story people will go out of cigarettes and go out of cigarettes so, some of the cigarettes or tea drinkers would go to that too. So, they needed an excuse. Correct. Because it's a film of three hours. You get restless somewhere or somewhere. So, people have to sit on the seat. It was a very difficult job and it was. Let's talk to you about your favourite soundtracks. I'm going to make it tough for you. All the best. Thridev. Yes. Vishwatma. Mohra. Gupt. According to you, best soundtrack. It's not tough. See, Tridev, I created a, I tried to create a flavor of electronic sound, which I found Viju was very good at. And we started working and I was very fond of it since a child. I grew up hearing a lot of Hindi music. Like I had a lot of favorite music directors and I listened to all of them. There was an LP record player and I would listen to that. And then I also grew up listening to Western music. Yeah, so I listened to a lot of Western music. So one side is Pancham and the other side is Presley. Yes, yes. So there was Pancham and Presley both. Yeah, so when I used to ask Viju, who's your favorite music director, I think, I'm not sure, but I think he used to really like Lakshmi Kyan Pyarilal Ji. And he used to say, what about you? I said, you know, I kind of liked the modern sound of R.D. Burban and I also liked S.T. very much, but I also liked Shankar Jayakishan. But I also liked everybody, whether it was Ravi or... Whether it was O.P. Nair was my grand favorite. When it came to creating my own sound, mm -hmm. which I tried doing in Yudh, yeah. I brought in, if you hear Yudh, it is what Tridev was going to be. Yeah. So I wanted to make my own music mm -hmm. in the sense my own, I wanted my own kind of uh, sound. stamp there yes. of my own signature. That, you know, this is the films I make, they run or don't. But this is the kind of music I like to do mm -hmm. uh, and it's something that's coming from me. So it was my own understanding of what I could do in Tridev that I would say was kind of my most exciting soundtrack for me because it woke me up. Yes. So what I was capable of doing, I didn't yes. think it would run, Absolutely. honestly. Absolutely. It was all guesswork. Oi, so, oi, man, like was, till today, no, I remember. Believe me, it was all Oof. inspired from here, there. Yeah. I was struggling, you know, and it was like I had to Give drive it. my point home. Yeah. So that was a tough one. When I was in uh, sort of doing the next film, which was Vishwatma, it was much easier for me because I knew what I was trying to do. You know, I host a disco show on radio, a BB, it's Saturday night, 9 to 12, every week. It's been many, many years. It's been six years I've been yeah. doing this. Today, in 2022, the most requested track on my disco show is... 
Saat Samandar. Yeah, baby, it is yeah. Saat Samandar. But you know, when yeah. we, I think you know, when we did that music with yeah. you, of course, yeah. and me, uh, we didn't think this would last or it would be even a big hit. Okay. I honestly, when you do it, you you keep doing it, you over and over again. Yeah. It's so repetitive that you lose the essence of what you're doing, or even the gravity of the situation you're in. So you kind of become mechanical. It's like mathematics. Huh. So you kind of putting two plus two makes four. And you want to work the story out, the situation, the dance. Is the actress going to dance? Is you know so many things come in. Basically, बहुत काम होता है. बहुत काम हो जाता है. So, <laughs> but it became easier yeah. to create that song. And uh, today, when I, when Vijay and me discuss it, sometime we th- we feel and think that it's become a bigger hit today than it was then. Yes. Which is yes. what I'm very happy about. So it was a, a very good uh, journey for me. to uh having uh, learned what i did and managed to pull off a gupt which i also look back on gupt and 25 years and i feel yes i feel grateful thankful to everyone who contributed towards it or worked with me the entire star cast i mean i was very stressed about manisha saying yes and she said yes in a second so and then of course bobby was like a friend And casual, we know. And then I had about eight, ten top आपके character के, artists. आपके दोस्त, आपके मतलब आपके नाम से आज भी मैंने वो फोन किया मैंने कहा गुप्त की स्क्रीनिंग हो रही है. So from Raza Sahab, yes. okay, to Kool G, yeah. to Mukesh Rishi, yes. to a Sharad Saxena, to a Tej Sapru. I think this is like you see them, mm-hmm. and then you're like, this is a Rajiv Rai film, man. Yeah, like, Raza Raza Sahab has been in most of my films, yeah, yeah. and he's been a, a very good. Uh, Contributor yeah. and an asset. Yeah. Yes. A, a guy like Tej Sapru, when you say he's been in all my films. All your films. Yeah, yeah. I've never managed to give him a really exciting roles, but whatever I could do. But Gupt had this massive star cast. Yeah. And the stars were not just Bobby Kajol no, and Manisha. No, no, there was there was an ensemble. There was ensemble. everybody. Yeah. There was an ensemble. Today, we say ensemble cast. Yeah. Uh, you know, Mirza Pur and other such yeah. shows are being made. But you, yeah. you were the creator of the ensemble back then. And I remember even a Dinesh Hingu Sahab who was there in the film. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's just there to laugh. Yeah. Okay, but he's so memorable. Yeah. And there was also Vishwajit Sahab. You know, who you know, your films. Yeah, film mein yeah he. A lot of these boys, you know, people forget. I've introduced them all. Yes, yes. So you know, here and there, they've come to me. I like introducing boys and girls. So I've introduced uh, a lot of faces. I've tried, uh, and I, and also in my main lead, I've taken risks. Yeah. And funnily enough, when I made those films, I never. Really worked with stars, stars as to say, uh, which are stars today. And uh, I mean, I think while I was working with them, they became stars. Yes. So when I actually started some of my films, the people I was working with were not as big as when I was ha- midway through the film. That's true. Uh, so that's okay. Of course, I miss my cameraman Ashok Mehta ji. He was a very dear friend. We lost him. The film industry lost him, and he did a great job in Gup. I really miss him. So there were so many people. However, you have to answer one question. You cannot now. You have to put your finger down and tell me favorite song from Gupt. कौन सा एक गाना? Because क्या गाने लिखे हैं बक्शी साहब ने? Yeah, so I, like you first, I have not answered your yes, first question. Yes, you have answered. Favorite music. So I came down to Mohra, and then in Gupt, see these films all had that one or two hit numbers. Whereas Gupt, we didn't attempt a hit number. we didn't kind of try to we want that one song to work in the film that would sail the film through so i told vijju let's try and get all the tracks equal yes let's yes, think yes. we record one and we say this is our best number the second one should be better the third so we were trying to climb the ladder correct and uh, uh, so we worked hard on each number individually uh, and if you kind of you know duniya hasino ka mela was of course a commercial one But the most creative was Bechenia. Yeah. It was it was creative because it didn't really have a mukra antara. Yeah. It was about repeating yeah. a one just syllable words. and one yeah. word and yeah. and just going on. And only Bakshi Saab could have done it. So that song was my god. So much fun with Bakshi Saab yeah. writing it because you were playing with words. And I said, my god, this is so interesting yeah. because it was a very unusual number it for is, me. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know how much people liked it finally or how well it did. but for me that was a very very a thrilling 
song though i like all my songs i will not be able to differentiate it's like telling me you have six children who's your favorite child you you cannot do that you know and there is no favorite child even even if you have 10 children you must like all of them yeah. but in other films of course because certain songs uh, hot tip tip they they kind yes, of tip tip there is yeah. also uh, no i had love tip tip when i did it i love for me I, i also didn't think also it would, nice. i didn't think it would hit out that much i knew it was a commercial song it would help the film it was a rain song it was exciting song for the masses to watch because it was happening in a very sort of a romantic and a so, sort of a very seductive Space. atmosphere Space, and yeah. i and we were all always we had these odd ingredients to put in uh, when we were making commercial films so we don't wo, think like that ha kyunki wo to ek police officer tha yeah. aur ek journalist oh, thi it's not easy to do it yeah yes and i remember she I calls mean, him and says ki mai is yeah, yeah, it, it, writing a script see the bottom line is it's your story and after that it's your script yeah if you get these two things right, right. your film shouldn't go wrong then you really i mean screwed it up somewhere down, <laughs> down the line <laughs> very <laughs> badly you go aapne kyun bana kyun bana ha ye pusha gaya why would i ever ask this ki piche mein ek bahut interesting kahani hai hadsa hai jo mere sath individually hua london mein the so my wife which is my ex wife now sonam ke sath hum log gaye unhone unko place ka bahut shauk tha abhishek ab jaate the holiday ke liye saal mein ek bar place dekhte the to maine bola ek play chal raha hai kuch सत्तर अस्सी साल पता रही एटी ईयर्स एगथा क्रिस्टी का माउस ट्रैप सो हम लोग गए तो सबने बोला कि आ, कैसे पता इट्स अ मर्डर मिस्ट्री तो तो हमने बोला इंटरवल में मैंने बताया कि ड्रिंक से सर चलो इंटरवल में हम डिस्कस करेंगे मर्डरर कौन है एंड लेट्स सी कौन करेक्ट है हाँ. तो मैंने अपनी एक्स को बोला कि मैंने कहा भैया देखो ऐसा है कि आ, अगर मैं ये मर्डरर गेस नहीं कर पाऊं तो मैं गुप्त नहीं बनाऊंगा फिर मैंने सोचा है मैंने क्या बोल दिया एक्चुअली हुआ है तो इससे तो अच्छा ये हो गया तो मैं टें, टेंशन में आ गया और मैं मेरा क्या होता है जब मैं प्लेस देखता हूँ मैं सो जाता हूँ <laughs> तो <laughs> तो मेरी वाइफ से कहा कि आप तो एक्स वाइफ से कि आप तो सो जाओगे कहीं ना कहीं तो हाउ विल यू गैस आई सर आई डोंट नो आई ट्राई तो इंटरवल हुआ छह लोगों ने अपना अपना बताया मैंने अपना बताया जो मैंने कहा किसी ने नहीं कहा और फिर हम प्ले देखने लग गए माउस ट्रैप जब प्ले खत्म हुआ तो आई वाज राइट तो मैंने पहली चीज ये बोली कि चलो भगवान शुक्र है अभी मैं गुप्त बनाऊंगा क्योंकि आई कैन रीड द डायरेक्टर एंड द राइटर एंड द स्टोरी टेलर कि वो क्या सोच रहा है तो ये मेरे लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टेस्ट था आप मानेंगे नहीं ये हुआ है so this is something that happened and i got very and then i got very confident mm. making gupt mm. it was a small yeah. incident correct but it happened yeah. so this is something i thought i should tell you on camera Thank you. because um, uh, i know a lot of people have liked gupt i don't recommend producers and directors to make suspense films <laughs> it's a, it's a very <laughs> dangerous subject <laughs> just correct you know yeah. just because one film runs correct. you should think twice Every anybody who's thinking of making a hardcore suspense film, it's a scary sort of subject Opposition. to tamper with. Yeah. Uh, uh, and also, if people don't make it, it gives me an opportunity that I don't have competition yes. when I make yes. mine. Very <laughs> smart. Uh, always so, the smartest knife. Yeah, yeah. that's so great. So that's yeah. that was the a, a little incident behind. There are so many questions. अब बाकी के सवाल हम स्टेज पे करेंगे आपसे। चलो स्टेज में करेंगे। I wish you good luck. Thank you. और आपने बहुत मेहनत की है रोहिणी। And uh, I wish you good luck for the event, Thank for the show. Radio Nasha.